Yeah, well, I'm delighted he's back on the show, Mr. Eddie Izzard. Now, uh, I apologise. I, I guess it must be kind of uh, a bit uh, uncomfortable sitting back there for the duration. Of the well, it's you know, part. it's a bit you know. But it's nice for us because we know you're there, okay? The audience know you're there. I know you're paying attention to the show, okay? And it gives me a great feeling of power. <laughs> um, That's yeah. not a bad impersonation of a balloon going down. No, well, I, I think what you say is, is lies. Eddie, do you not trust me? Not really. Okay. I, th I, th I think that's the main thing you've engendered in the British public, <laughs> is a lack of trust. Um, now, but it, but in, a, in, a, in a good way. Good. It, of course, that's the only way you can not like trust someone. Like a doctor someone. with a bad, you know, one of those things with a spike on it. Well, <laughs> speaking of doctors, are you or are you not to be the new Doctor Who? <laughs> it has been in the newspapers I've... that is in the runnings. Tom Baker, the fantastic Tom Baker. One of the best who's. One of the best who's. Who, who put me, he put, who, he, who, uh, who put me up for, he said, I, he thought it would be a fun idea if I was up. I never put my name on the, on the form that came around from the government <laughs> to say, would you like to be Doctor Who? That's just a box you tick if you don't want to be considered. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's, if you don't wish us to put your name down on the Doctor Who list, tick this box. It was, it came by and I just didn't register. They have my postcode, but, um, I didn't, and uh, but I'm, uh, it's back again. Be who? Know. Be who? Be who? Be who? Be who what? Who? You be who for us? Is this a joke? You'd be a great who. <laughs> not not. You'd be a good oh, who. I see. Wouldn't you? Why not, don't you be who? No, I can't because I've got this other series. What series? Well, a uh, series about monkeys and. Um, <laughs> can't you squeeze who in? Uh, I play lead monkey, and uh, and it, it's a, it's it's being shot in Angola. Um, An Angolan monkey? Yeah. I can tell you now, that's got no legs. Well, it might not work as a, as a, as a show, but I, 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 it's what, it's just, I've got a script. Well, you're always it's, stretching yourself. It's called Monkey what? with a Limp. Yeah. And <laughs> I'll have my lawyers on you in the morning. <laughs> you're doing Angel with a Limp. Well, that'd be a great film. We're doing Monkey with a Limp. When you act, Eddie, yeah. if someone said to you, I want you to play someone with a, a slight disability, not a huge one, like a limp, yeah. right, how would you go about working on that slight disability? How would you perfect it? I'd start by limping. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then Would I just, you hang out I with people with a limp and ask them if you could study them? Well, if, it's, well, if the person just has a limp, then yeah. you probably wouldn't need to go to too many... A slight limp. You wouldn't need to immerse yourself in the limping community. You know what you, um, you, know what you could do? You could oh. just put a little, a small stone, not a large stone, quite a yeah. small stone in one of your shoes. Gra or just gravel. So, Doctor Who, yes or no? Come on, say yes. No. Oh, why not? Because, you know... You'd be great, and wouldn't it be a great thing to do? Seriously, it'd be a great thing to do. Well, you know, I just... Whoa. You grew up watching it, didn't you? No, no, I, I, used to, I grew up watching it here. Well, there you go. Everyone watched it here, you see. Well, That's... now you could get your revenge. <laughs> well, it's, it's like having Ant and Deck on the show. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all do it behind them? <laughs> yeah. Um, but you could get your revenge on the Daleks on the Sidemen. You could be the Doctor. No, I think there's to... scripts and You everything. could be... Do you still, still cross-dress at all? I am a transvestite. I proved this to you with, with I measuring don't know tape. I think it was a gimmick. However, listen. It's a tax thing. You could be a time-travelling transvestite. <laughs> the first cross-dressing doctor. That's what Tom Baker was going on about, your big noodle. Well, what the... He was saying that I have a certain... Well, you didn't tell me that. How am I supposed to know that? What do you think, I'm a mind reader? Well, no, you don't know. Yeah. Like... So, look. Yes, just do it. It will take you, what, maybe two months of your life, three months, you could knock off a series, then move on, do what Eccleston did. No, what, you're not, no, no, no. Why do you not want to do it? No. I don't understand what on earth is wrong with you. Just because of time, there's not enough time. The time, doctor, he can room. go back and get the time back. Time. Come on, do it. I'm going to... I've got things to do. I'm going to forge They're your... not Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> now, Eddie, uh, despite his stupid reluctance to commit to Doctor Who, is one of the busiest uh, performers y you could hope to meet. Uh, he's making movies, he's travelling, he's doing stand-up, he does movies, he does concerts and so on and so forth. You've just come back from, uh, where is it, some sort of foreign countries? Mars. No, you haven't. <laughs> no, I was, in scan I was in Nordic countries, I was. I was in Iceland, I played Iceland. So you're Nordic, how did up for it. I met Björk and she said, Björk, to ask Björk with an umlaut. Björk. And uh, she said, hey, I've been watching, this was a few years ago, she said, you go and play Iceland. And that, actually, that was over eight years ago. So I went and played Iceland eight years ago. Do they speak back. English there? Did you do it in English gigs? They gig? speak English and Icelandic yes. and nothing else. So, okay, do you speak any Icelandic? No. 
Okay. So you did the gig in English? I did the gig in English. Because you've because done gigs in other yeah, languages. I do French and I'm going to do German and Spanish and Italian and good. things. But, you know, I just thought they spent all this time learning English, it would be churlish yes. of me. <laughs> It'd be like saying, you needn't have bothered, you wasted all those years. Well, I, I, I can't learn mm. all the languages. And they, right. the Scandinavian countries, they're so good at English. See, they're, even, they're even eight years better than they were last time. Now, no, Nordic countries are not Scandinavian countries. No. What is the difference? Uh, Finland and Iceland are also Nordic countries. So you've got Finland, Norway and Iceland. Yeah. They consider themselves Nordic. No, Finland and Iceland uh, are in the group with all the other three Nordic. Scandinavia is Norway, Sweden and uh, Denmark. And if you, add, if you say Nordic countries, you add Finland and Iceland. So only Finland and Iceland are Nordic? Yeah. Well, no, all five are Nordic. <laughs> How can they all be Nordic? All five are Nordic. It's like Great Britain. But and are they all Scandinavian? No, only the three are Scandinavian, and the other two, like, So they're the Nordic countries, like I just said. All five are Nordic. No. Yes. Yes, but there were two only just Nordic. Just believe me. I don't know whether to trust you. Well, I don't trust you. I'm okay, you well, on the level of no trust, then right. I'll go with it. Okay. So, do you have a lot of fans in Scandinavia? Well, the tickets all out in seven minutes, so... Wow. Yeah. Wow, how many tickets, though? Three. Okay. <laughs> and so, but you're... you're covered this before but I'm always interested to find out you're still very pro-Europe you're very pro yeah. the euro you think we should have the euro and not the pound no well that, that's the no at the moment it's just there's this election gonna come up so we don't even need to talk about that I just like people yes you accept it but everyone else I can't <laughs> swim on. you I, I like going away when I'm going on holiday I'll be honest with you Eddie and this is where you're wrong if you don't mind me saying so when you go on holiday it's fun to change your money to silly money Right? And then when you go, when you used to go to Italy with silly money, one billion billion lira, and you get a cup of coffee, it was great. You knew you were foreign. It was like, well, look where we are, bloody million quid. Coffee! Another million if I want sugar. That was, oh, that was the experience. Now, one euro. Same as bloody Ireland, one euro. I used to like getting into a taxi in some foreign land, and, and they'd say, 60 million drachma, and you think, is that two pence or a million pounds? Yes. And you would have no idea. Say, go! It was fun! It oh was my fun. God, I've given the mortgage money to the guy. It was good fun. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about films then. Um, Eddie was in one of the big uh, summer movies uh, of last summer, I guess it was, um, Ocean's 12, okay, uh, which is out in DVD in May. Now, this is what a, what a dream part to get, I would have thought, to be offered uh, an admittedly small role, but a role on that film with that cast. Yeah, well, it was, it, was, it was fantastic. I got phoned up and said, hey, hey, hey do you want to come and do this role? And I who, said, who is that phoning you? That was just some bloke. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and I said, yeah. Uh, that was actually Jerry Weintraub. The, the, it was Jerry Weintraub. I knew it. As soon as you did his voice, I knew it was Jerry Weintraub. But then he handed over to George. <laughs> okay, now, so George Clooney was there? Yeah, and George said, hey, hey, hey. Sounded very similar to, to Jerry Weintraub. <laughs> Yeah, he'd come and do the thing. We're in Amsterdam and he was having fun. Okay, but that's the problem with the film. Because you're very good in the movie. You're very good in the film. I really yeah. enjoy... No, you are good in the movie. You said that to me last time. Uh, no, I didn't say that. You said that. No, you're I said you're good in the movie, that. but most other people are crap in the movie. It's not a good film. It's a shame. <laughs> Don't take it personally. I'm not having to go at you. I've no, said, I, know, I know, I know, and I've heard, and, and I, I, I appreciate that. I just, I don't know what to say. I, went, I asked Stephen to do it Jonathan Ross's way. Yes. And, no, don't uh, be sarcastic. I'm not doing sarcasm. I'm doing ribaldry. Okay. Well, don't, you, don't do stuff I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, all right, this is a clip of Eddie in Ocean's 12 with a stellar cast. He's the best one in it. Have a look at this. Recreating the lighting conditions was a pain in the ass because it's a mixture of tungsten and real light, but I think the color rendition is pretty damn accurate. Batteries are in the base, two minutes maximum. You're good. It's good, Roman. You're a genius. Never got past that grid. That's why you're paying me double. What? No, no, no. You got my message. Who's that sexy phone voice? Very early Bond. What message? The message I left with sexy phone voice. Nicole, on your mobile. Got something going with Gunter? Am I in? Okay, uh, when did you leave the message? Two days ago. She had your phone. She has your... Yeah. That means it's yes. Yeah. Well, you better hear yeah. Right. I mean, so, so, who's got my money? Eddie in the Ocean 12. Wow, that's a, that's a tough room to be in. That's a, that's a room of very handsome men you in there. Yeah, I know, and uh, it was good. Um, 
Last time I saw Eddie perform live was uh, for a big charity benefit uh, that took place here in London to uh, help people who'd suffered as a result of the tsunami. Uh, and it was called Comic Aid. It was shown on BBC One and BBC Two. Um, and Eddie was great on the evening. Uh, there were many fine performers on the evening. You were great. Lee Evans was terrific. Bill Bailey was great. There were a lot of great acts. Uh, what I liked about seeing you is, because I, I haven't seen you do proper live for years and years and years, okay? But it was like old Eddie. It was because you were, I think you were a bit drunk when you went on stage. No. Yes, you were. No, do I? You were. I think you were drunk because you were necking it down earlier. Was it? Yeah. And then you went a bit crazy and you started rearranging the furniture before you went on. No, no, that was just moving the telly because it's important to have a telly back. You rearranged the whole room. What are you talking about? Telly it was like having a deranged man in there. He was going, yeah, no, the TV be going over here. Move the chair there. Look at that. Oh, you see the TV there. Move the TV over there. Be foul. What a groovy and the. And no who? one knew what to make of you. What's that? Is that your? That's a good impersonation. That's an impression of me. That's a good. Shut your eyes for a minute. I'm gonna shut my eyes. Isn't that a good impersonation of me? <laughs> no, you were. But I thought I thought maybe you were drunk. No. You were drunk. No, I don't get. I'm sort of permanently drunk. No, but no, I don't think so. Okay, um, well, let's have a look at the clip. I think you're drunk. Maybe I was. Well, let's, let's have, have a look. look. <laughs> Moths. Because <laughs> they, they are interesting, actually, moths, you know, because they... <laughs> They're kind of like flies without a mission, you know? Because <laughs> flies are much more organised, because they come, at least they come, uh, where's Moss coming? They go, uh, uh, come to you, not where? What's going on? <laughs> what? 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 Daddy long legs and Moss are linked in some sort of no wings type thing, you know? <laughs> Daddy long legs are much more, blah, 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 and Moss, and spiders are dangerous, and we know that they want to suck our brains out. <laughs> we know that, and when women say, get in the bathroom, there's a spider in there, understand that men are scared as you. They're completely... And I'm on the boy side of this, being action transvestite. <laughs> that was a back where you were ad-libbing, admirably. Maybe you weren't drunk. No, that's not drunk. That's called comedy. <laughs> OK. Now, do you, you like coming on, do you like coming on the show? Did you yeah, you get paid for this. <laughs> f*** you. No, it's good. <laughs> but you've... you've no, you've, f*** you. No. <laughs> f*** you who? Not you. <laughs> Then you run out with a scarf and a hat. That's a cat singing the last bit. Uh, Eddie, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, Very nice to finally meet you. You're not. <laughs> How lovely to see you again. Eddie is our ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you to all my guests this evening, the great David Cowden, the wonderful Natalie Imbruglia, and of course Mr. Eddie Izzard. Thank you, Eddie. It's always a pleasure. Now